staying back or as he sits up, shove him back and I take control of the position here. Okay. Not a bad ploy. A lot of times that's what you have to do against somebody who's insisting on sitting up and you're trying to play a standing pass game. So here you're here, they stand up, you shove them back, come right in. You can't shove them back and then wait around. You can't bust them back and then hang out here and try to intimidate them with your ability to shove them back. Okay, you've got to eat that space up right away. Come in here, crowd, right? Um, but where you can oftentimes uh, run into trouble with the pass that we did yesterday where we leave ourselves forward, kicked around, and came to this point, is if you have an opponent who's, who's a little more cagey about allowing you to keep him flat. I come in here, and he starts to angle himself off, okay? Starts to, to bring himself off, and he starts looking for your heel here. You're gonna have a lot more problems because he's already in, in position to start setting his daily heave again. So, I'm gonna have to uh, look to pass right away, and I'm gonna change my tactics just slightly, okay? My first option that I want to go for is to cut across his hip line here, use that movement against him before he's secured this grip. Once I come in here, I feel him using his shoulders to come around. I know that I have a limited amount of time to operate to cut away and get my heel away from him. So I look to plant my hand here. This will help block his, his reach. All right, it'll also keep him from being able to come out uh, completely to the side. And then I just use some of the concepts of, of the cut passes that we worked for a number of times. I turn the knee towards the ground here, all right? And then this time we're going to use that hard cross face like we did yesterday, where I come around to this, and I'm going to switch my hips radically and come to here. This gives me some freedom of movement. It also helps keep me on a pretty rapid uh, motion through his guard, utilizing angles to create speed rather than just trying to rush through. So we're working from the same idea where we're entering in, okay? I come in here and I feel him looking for this angle. So my hand goes down here, first thing, all right? Now I'm gonna steer my shin across his, his uh, inner thigh and towards the ground by his hip here, right? Boom, keep my foot in contact with his hamstring. And now when I'm ready to change my angle, this arm comes heavy for the cross face here, reaches for his shoulder, boom, and I snap through here. All right. Make sure you're able to divert his face with just the shoulder pressure alone. That's what's going to keep him from being able to turn up into you. Then I can use my hands to keep his legs at bay, start setting some offense from here. Again, I come here, boom, he starts to move. Okay. Let's go. Two, three, three. 